in previous classes we discussed as the poverty poverty is a situation in which a person unable to complete a their basic needs in previous class we were discussing regarding as a poverty alleviation programs poverty alleviation programs programs or schemes initiated by the government of india for eradication of poverty from indian economy in which as a first we discuss as a manrega mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act we discussed in a previous class as mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act next we discuss as the swarna jayanti gram swarojgar yojana swarna jayanti gram swarojgar yojana yojana we discuss in a previous class third we discuss as the sampoorn gramin rozgar yojana sampoorn gramin rozgar yojana now the fourth one as a national food for work program national food for work program under this scheme national food work for national food for work program it supported to the manrega earlier as in manrega mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act only as a money salary given to the those workers which are employed by the panchayats but to as a initiation of a national food for work program now as a food items at the place of a money food given to the poorers for their work in a form of a wages food given to the food items cereal crops wheat or rice given to the workers for their services for their services for such kind of the jobs given by the village panchayats village panchayats work given by the village panchayats to the individuals for such evers as the food given to the workers next scheme here as the next scheme pm gy pradhan mantri gramodaya yojana pradhan mantri pradhan mantri gramodaya yojana gramodaya yojana it was as initiated in a 2000 this scheme initiated formulated by the government of india in 2000 2000 to provide basic services such as basic services such as pradhan mantri gramodaya yojana launched in 2000 to provide basic services such as primary health primary health education primary health education 
clean drinking water drinking water rural electrification rural electrification rural now as an next scheme as pradhan mantri gramodaya yojana launched in 2000 in previous class we discussed it as the four of the schemes now the fifth one as a pradhan mantri gramodaya yojana launched it by the central government in 2000 to provide basic services to provide basic services like primary health education clean drinking water rural electrification rural electrification rural electrification and shelters to and shelters to shelters to rural families rural families one example under this as the gramodaya yojana gramodaya means the gram means as a village and development development of the village for the basic development of the village what kind of the services are the desired given by the government at low cost at subsidized rates for example one example is there a person which has not having their own cemented house basics in basic services they includes as the shelter also a person which has not having their cemented house under such circumstances government of india it has lent it has given as the 50000 rupees for the construction of their home 50000 to this to the use of such money a person can build them built their one room so 50000 lending by the government to the such economically and socially socially backward sections which are not having their own houses same under this scheme of a gramodaya yojana flushes are constructed in a rural areas flush those economies where the people they can't afford the such kind of a basic facilities for such type of a people 90% share given by the 90% share given by the government and 10% it will be as a available by the that individual which need as a such kind of facilities means if the 10000 of a total expenditure needs for a construction of a flush 9000 it will be paid from the side of the government 1000 by the person in a form of a labor in a form of labor so such kind of the flushes are constructed under scheme of a sulab shachalyas sulab shachalyas sulab shachalya clear so these are the basic facilities services desired by a person desired by a person in a rural economy these are provided to the efforts of a government government has providing the such kind of the facilities at subsidized rates clear next scheme as a antyodaya ann yojana antyodaya ann yojana antyodaya ann yojana under this scheme under this scheme food grains food grains provided to the poorers at a subsidized rates at subsidized rates subsidized rates food items like as a 2 rupees per kg wheat 3 rupees rice 20 rupees as a pulses only given to the socially and the economically backward sections those sections those individuals which are which are having the yellow card socially and economically backward sections socially backward sections they are possessing as the yellow card yellow these are the yellow card holders and those which are the economically backward economically poorer they are having as a blue cards so those which are possessing that such cards which are issued by the central government in relation to the 
upliftment of socially and economically backward sections for such sections through anteyodaya anna yojana ann food the term which has derived from the goddess annapurna goddess annapurna so anteyodaya ann yojana given the food items at a subsidized rates to socially and economically backward sections of society socially and economically backward sections of society clear so these are the okay one more the scheme is there rural employment generation program rural employment generation program rural employment employment generation program launched in 1995 1995 rural village economy employment job generation as how can it can be as a develop and program the scheme so that scheme which has supported for a generation of a sources of income in rural economy sources of income in rural economy rural economy are categorized under this rural employment generation program launched in 1995 the objective of this program the prime objective of this program to create self employment opportunities self employment opportunities in rural areas in rural areas this rural employment generation program launched in 1995 to target to provide and create self employment opportunities in rural areas through availability of through availability of cheaper credit facilities credit means loan cheaper credit facilities cheaper credit facilities cheaper credit facilities through cooperative societies through cooperative societies it means that if the some of the individuals are living in a rural economy in a village area they are not having the regular source of income on their avers on such avers they will be as a, uh, all the villagers number of a villagers of a that particular village 10 to 15 they will make as their group such kind of groups are known as a self help groups self help groups sgs self help group so members of a such group it will deposit some amount of a money that money it may be varying from 20 rupees to the 200 rupees every individual 20 to 200 rupees it will collect in a group and that amount collective amount of a money it will deposit in a local bank or a cooperative on the basis of a regular installments regular installments in a bank bank lending the certain amount of a loan to the that particular group for generation of a self employment that money they can such money it can use by the group for a uh, start their own self employment to this the that money they can start their dairy dairy production they can start as the dairy production amul which now presently as a multinational company in india it was started in a form of a cooperative society in a form of a cooperative society that society in which the seven to eight women in a one particular village somewhere outskirts in a gujarat they collected the milk throughout the complete of their village and supply towards the adjoining areas but now amul is becomes as a multinational company their products milk products they are exporting towards the 17 countries of the world so the basic the prime objective of a 
such scheme as a to increase the self employment opportunities through availability of a cheaper credit facilities cheaper loan to cooperatives especially for a rural economies for rural economies yes until the an yojana given as the food items only for a socially and the economically backward sections until they are an yojana under this scheme food grains given to the socially and economically backward sections only neither for us yes we also discuss as a swan jayanti shahri yojana yes this was as a eight scheme so total eight schemes are there eight poverty alleviation programs are there through which the government try to eradicating the poverty from india eradicating poverty from indian economy for which as a such eight programs poverty alleviation programs introduced that's why at the time of a independence the trend of a the existence of a poverty which was as a more than a 50% after completion of a 74 years of a indian independence present now it's a 2022 is the 75th year of indian independence so since last 70 years of indian independence the trend of a poverty reducing day by day now as a 27 to 29% people are still living as a under poverty the reason behind the such change in a slow in manner is a due to the population population is not controlling in our country if we control as a population then we can easily eradicate we can solve as a problem of a poverty due to as a increasing population services are not improving job opportunities are not increasing that's why as a poverty is still existing in indian economy still existing in indian economy but still as india is a developing nation one of the nations which are improving their economic conditions through their efforts clear such efforts in all over the world we can see in a form of a poverty trends what are the poverty trends in a present economies what are the poverty trends in a world economies this is our next topic afterwards the programs what are the poverty trends in a modern economy in a present india the global trends of a poverty in all over the world global trends it is not only the india not only india or the other developing nation next topic as the global poverty trends global poverty trends yes any questions regarding this global poverty trends so it is not only india or developing countries which are facing the problem of poverty but this problem is building its roots in all the regions of the world the reason behind as the spread of a poverty among as the world economies as the low economic growth and low economic growth low economic growth due to increasing population low economic growth due to increasing population low economic the reason behind the poverty spread in all over the all the countries of a world as the low economic growth due to high growth of population high growth of population and second as a uneven distribution of uneven distribution of natural resources natural resources resources they are importantly they are contributing over the growth of any of economy such economies which are rich in a natural resources the existence of a natural resources in a such economy supported as their economies for example when we are talking about as a gulf countries 
presently as a gulf countries are mostly as a developed it's due to the crude oil their economy based upon the crude oil they are exporting their crude oil to the other economies and earn as a good profit margin that's why presently presently the people from a less developed areas moving towards as a gulf countries of iran iraq dubai uae in such areas for a better living conditions due to as existence of a crude oil which are supportive for the such economies but this trend it will be not continue throughout the uh, 200 400 500 or an x upcoming centuries such trend it can be as a chain why because they are exploiting their resources as unequally unevenly they are exploiting their natural resources as a unevenly they are not emphasizing over the sustainable development for a present needs of a economy they are exploiting their resources as over exploitative in manner afterwards the 2080 crude oil it will be at the level of the extinction in a such countries but when we are talking about the india where the natural resources are there agriculture is a possible in gulf countries agriculture is not possible but still they are developed economies they are having as a developed economies industries are not there their economies are based upon a crude oil but in india crude oil is also available a number of the minerals are easily available in our country coal iron ore different number of minerals are there agriculture which has supported towards our economy industries are there but not as adequate industries due to as a high growth of population the burden of a population over a supply of a services which is the reason behind as the poverty in india reason the cause responsible for the poverty in india as the high growth of population in our country clear high growth of poverty in our country but when we are talking about the other countries of the world us united states of america surface area is a more natural resources are more population is not there people moving from the less developed areas towards the canada america russia for the russia for as the workers as a workers the human resource which may be as a developed the resources in a such economies so first point under as a global poverty trends as a fall in a global poverty fall in global poverty the poverty which has decreasing in our countries decreasing in countries first heading fall in global poverty the world bank defines world bank defines poverty as living the world bank defines poverty as living less than living on less than 1 dollar per day 1 dollar per day 1 dollar per day there has been a substantial reduction in substantial reduction in global poverty global poverty substantial reduction in a global poverty due to due to improving due to improving sorry due to improvements in economies due to improvements in economies improvements in economies economies like example example india 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 brazil peru brazil peru brazil peru since last two decades in last two decades 
in last two decades the reason as because a large number of the workforce a large number of the workforce displaced towards developed economies developed economies developed economies which supportive which supports increase in national income increase in national income increase in national income of such economies means brazil india peru due to as a movement of a such people the people which are moving from india towards a canada us russia england france after all they are contributing as a increasing the national income of our country whatever the uh, income which has earned by the these individuals which are moving from india towards uh, other developed nations they are contributing to increase in a national income of our country national income of our country second regional variations second is the regional variations the global poverty reducing global poverty reducing but with vast regional variations vast regional variations poverty has declined poverty has declined substantially in china in southeast asia in south eastern asian countries in south eastern asian countries due to rapid economic growth rapid economic growth and massive investment massive investment in human resource development human resource development but the pace of reduction of poverty pace means the speed of reduction of poverty reduction of poverty in south asian countries in south asian countries is slow is very slow the change in the economy of india change in economy of india change in economy of india due to growth in secondary and tertiary sectors due to growth in secondary and tertiary sectors so as we discussed earlier as a planning commission during as a planning years of india high growth when the primary sector it was as a growing sector as such as the growing sector under such circumstances indian economy it was not boosted up but when the emphasis moving shifted towards as a primary towards as a secondary and a tertiary which makes as a more job opportunities due to as improvements in our banks banking insurance transport communication industries cottage industries small scale industries which makes as a more possibilities of a job generations more possibilities of a employment opportunities due to as a such kind of a services growing in our economy those educated unemployed educated unemployed unemployed which were not having as a any source of a income they dependent they can earn their they can earn their livelihoods it's due to as a such economic changes which took place in developing economies like as india in such economies where the secondary and the tertiary sector they go hand in hand both work as in support of a eradication of poverty clear third poverty in a african continent poverty in african countries 
poverty in african countries like as a sub sahara sub sahara regions of algeria sub sahara regions of algeria libya niger chad c h a d sudan s u d a n sudan etc the poverty in this region increase poverty increase poverty increase poverty in a african continent poverty in african continent i'm again repeating as panika poverty in african continent in sub sahara regions includes algeria libya niger chad sudan etc in which the poverty increased increased since 1952 to 2000 1951950 to 2000 due to due to poor economic growth poor economic growth due to poor economic growth comma high growth rate of population high growth rate of population high growth rate of population starvation due to as a not as a assured irrigation facilities are there that's why as a starvation occur starvation s t a r v a t i o n food insecurity food insecurity government not having as the funds to which they can feed their population but when we are talking about the india there is the government having as a adequate funds or the materials to which they can feed their population that's why as the number of schemes initiated for improving the job opportunities and the food items the basic needs completed by the government through their support through their support when we compare the normal prices of a greens with the such marginalized for such food items which are given to the such sections the poorer sections at a low rates in market at present as 25 to 30 rupees as a wheat selling but through the present still as present governments giving us 2 rupees per kg wheat to the such economically and socially backward sections <laughs> it's depend upon the government policies so our government policies are in favor of growth of economy for a satisfying the needs of people satisfying the needs of people clear yes again i am re repeating as a regional variations regional variations the global poverty trends global poverty global poverty covers in a vast regional variations in which as a poverty has declined substantially in a parts of a china substantially in a parts of china and southeastern asian countries like india southeastern asian countries like india i'm again as repeating as a regional variations southeastern asian countries like india it's due to the growth in secondary and tertiary sectors secondary and tertiary sectors you are seeing in your sur uh, surroundings presently as a chinese goods they are selling in a market at a in a larger quantities larger quantities at a low cost it's due to as a such manufacturing units industrial units which were set up in a parts of a china such goods afterwards as exporting towards the other countries for good margin for good earnings due to as a industry if the industry allocate within as a country which will provide as a job opportunities job opp opportunities and through as a such industrial goods a country it can earn as a good margin good profit margin but in relation to the india this the rate of a declining poverty is a low why because 
we are presently as exporting the raw materials we are neither emphasizing over the uh, manufacturing units one simple example is here one kg of a cotton which are selling in a market at amount of 80 to 90 rupees 100 rupees 100 rupees as a kg same cotton used for a manufacturing of a one trouser which will really needs as a machinery machinery ke upar expenses kitna hua energy ke upar aapka kitna hua then third as a transportation cost fourth as how much money you are given to the one laborer so with the use of a that particular laborer it can easily manufacture the trouser cutting stitching everything if total expenditure as a 150 for a such work 100 rupees for a raw material 250 rupees but in market when you are go towards a market then in jeans trousers these are available at amount of a 1000 1500 or a 2000 means if we selling our manufactured goods to the economy then we can earn as a good profit we can earn good profit but for this as a adequate fund this is as a required funds are required for which government has opted as a liberalization liberalization it liberalized their policies relaxed their policies for the fdi foreign direct investment if any of the foreigner is there if it wish to earn as a profit through the indian economy through indian economy there is a welcome by the government government is supportive to the such individuals when they are investing their money in our economy if they will as invest in money in our economy then it will be as supportive for us and they will be as a through a good profit margin such industries they can earn good profit clear so last topic as now remaining as a vulnerability which of the groups are the more more affected as a poverty afterwards we will discuss as a question answers on tomorrow so this much for today any questions thank you